Now I know you've watched a ton of breakdown videos, you've read all the interviews and articles, so I'm not going to really get into the nitty gritty details of gameplay and mechanics and all that other stuff. I want to talk about some things that you might have missed even still. So with that said, let's get started. The main scenario is called Under a Steel Sky, which is an interesting callback to when Aerith says that she misses it. Now why would there be wanted dead or alive posters for Avalanche if the news broadcast had showed them all dead? This is telling me that that broadcast happens in Zack's world. Man, I love that Under Junon is also faithfully recreated all of the elements in place here. You got the inn, you got the old man's house with the smoke coming out of the chimney, and you even have the stairs to go up to get to Priscilla's house. Looks like this isn't the only time a Bottoms Well monster attacked under Junon. As you can see, this exhibit of a Bottoms Well skeleton structure in the center of the town. I've never put that together in the original game, but the skeleton is also on display. I love the piratey rendition of Final Fantasy VII music here. It reminds me of Stranger of Paradise's take on Final Fantasy I music when traveling to the town of Provoka or fighting Captain Bicke. Now, Magnata Bookstore from Calm returns here, so this is going to be a returning shop. I just want to make sure I give everybody credit here. The Magnata Bookstore could be a shop to buy manuscripts similar to the Moogle Emporium from Final Fantasy VII Remake, where the player could buy these manuscripts that would increase each party member's skill points. I wonder if the player can also purchase synergy abilities from this shop. An NPC is overheard saying, quote, Oil, wind, coal. The Republic of Junon had no shortage of ways to generate power, end quote. The first time outside of the books when the Republic of Junon was mentioned, the Republic is mentioned specifically in Traces of Two Past novel. The Republic was pre-Shinra takeover, so I'm really excited for more of that scattered throughout Rebirth to get more of a deep, rich history of this world. It's interesting to me that they are bringing in many fish, because in the original they talked about how the water pollution from Shinra building the city above made it very difficult to catch any fish. I wonder if this is just some cool, cohesive detail that a sudden influx of fish is due to the presence of the Bottoms Well monster or the Terror of the Deep as it is referred to in Rebirth. Bottoms Well could have been forcing the fish to flee into the polluted waters in desperation to escape, except they just went right into a different trap. Even though there's an inn, the rest stop is a bench outside of it to recover your HP and MP but the inn should still be utilized in the game because, well, Cloud has a dream where he questions why he didn't speak with Tifa one-on-one -on -one in Nibelheim five years ago and should ask her when he wakes up. I wonder if this will change for Rebirth. I wonder if Sephiroth will toy with Cloud while he sleeps like he did in the Remake, but this time making him question Tifa. Do you know that I killed her? So, who is she? So instead of Cloud questioning himself and seeking Tifa's assistant when he wakes up, now he's going to be questioning Tifa when he wakes up, and then Tifa's gonna reply, Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Now, I stitched together a map of Under Junon based on the path the player traveled using the compass. Why? Well, I do that. Yuffie seems to have bought herself a brand new pair of shorts. The old pair did not have these pocket designs of what looks like a bird and possibly a moon around the bird. Perhaps there is more meaning behind this, but I don't know, other than she was getting attacked by a lot of birds quite a bit in uh, intermission and she posed in front of a moon. But yeah, her shorts had a missing button and she needed a belt, so 
you know what? Good for her. Yuffie! Grab his fin and hold on tight! Priscilla knows Yuffie's name. So, they've met before, and I'm assuming that Yuffie wasn't trying to steal a boat. You can see the raised platform where Mr. Dolphin will assist Cloud to reach. Once there, I bet Cloud will lower the platform, allowing the party to board, and then raise the platform to reach the upper city. There's a landmass out in the distance, and I'm super curious what's over there. Looking at the original PS1 map, it does kind of line up with either being the land that extends out from the Midgar area and connects somewhat to the northern continent, it could be an all-new island to explore between the eastern continent and the northern continent. And depending on how condensed the oceans are between, well, I guess it could be Costa del Sol over there. But I'm leaning more towards the option that this is part of the Midgar area and on the same continent they are currently on. The party is exiting the mines closer to Junon than in the original game. I talked about this in my map analysis video, but perhaps this other spot further east is a secret Mithril Mines dungeon. Would love to see it. Gotta highlight the Chocobo Boutique. The Choco Boutique. The Choco Boutique. You gotta highlight it because, man, major props to Square Enix for allowing shaders. Thank you so much for doing that for me. Here's a really good look at Fort Condor off in the distance. It seems as though the condor is actually not perched on top of it at the moment, from what I can see here. Oh my god. Damn! He ain't gonna be in rush hour three. Was the bird at the beginning of this cutscene the condor just gathering food for its uh newborn to be? Or Hear me out, I think this would be really cool. I think the condor, a much bigger bird, comes swooping in and eats that bird. Welcome to the food chain. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> All right. Something I noticed that is pretty funny. The high wind is large enough to take up the entirety of the land that this player has explored so far. <laughs> I think Rebirth looks incredible, and it could just be my nostalgia senses are being overloaded and I'm in complete awe of what I'm seeing, but when Yuffie is in the boat being attacked, the water just, it remains the same way with some slight splash effects. The same goes for the party uh, swimming or riding chocobos in the water. I just uh, think the water effects look, look a little lifeless. Well, this NPC actually does address this issue I'm having. Quote, the ocean's quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing, can tell you that much. End quote. Well, it's good that there's some sort of in-game explanation, but it still doesn't change my thoughts here. And I feel like it is important to bring up just in case it can be addressed before launch. And then also to note that what we are seeing is a early look at the game and not an accurate representation of the finished product. You know, I would say, man, that friggin sucks when the Cowboys lose a football game. I'd say, ow, that friggin' hurt when I step on one of my kids' Lego blocks. So what do you think I would say when referring to the corporation that I've been plotting my revenge against ever since they burned my hometown and dropped a city plate on my new home and killed thousands of innocent people, including my closest friends? What do you think I would say when referring to Shinra? Do you think I'd say, that's their friggin' M.O.? Oh no. Oh no. I just wish that Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy was rated M, so they can commit to the characters here. It just doesn't seem right for Barrett, and it's been bothering me ever since I've seen it. And it has me kinda worried about what Sid is going to be like. Man, he's going to get nerfed so bad. <laughs> All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you for so much for watching. Thank you to our ultimate weapon, Badly Brave. 
and to everyone who throws gill tosses gill my way over on coffee and patreon to support final fan tv sincerely thank you so much and uh yeah take care now bye bye